Hi, I have a question for any of you out there who uh, might know the answer. I've been studying Roman history, uh, war, for quite a while now, and one thing, nobody just comes out and explains it. It's an obvious thing. It's probably so obvious that uh, I should already know the answer, and that's why they don't explain it. But what I drew out here is an Xbox's cavalry here and, and a Greek phalanx. They can't go in between the intervals like a legion and reinforce the front wherever they want as well as the sides in a phalanx they have to go in front and then around in front or just straight in front on the wings the cavalry here on the wings in both as you can see this blue means the whole body of the army is filled with men however here the filled in boxes have gaps in them and the gaps allow cavalry to provide aid at any area in the front, and they also allow different specializations of troops to reinforce or uh, put more force in a certain area. What I don't understand is when this whole front reaches a Roman whole front, and by the way, with this checkered formation, it's exactly the size gap, uh, roughly 120 feet, as it is the 120 feet the men take up so when this whole phalanx comes here if one of you could explain to me what would happen if let's say this phalanx met its wall here but some guys decided to go into this interval or is this guy here in charge of making sh of running up and filling that gap because usually phalanx on phalanx is a wall against a wall. This is more like a wall against uh, parts of a wall. And what I don't understand is uh, those gaps had an enormous amount of space in them. And they fought with their whole right and their whole left just bare space that a phalanx or barbarians could run into. Now, uh, did the guys in back push forward on that, or did the cavalry go through? Or, this is what I think it is, and nobody's mentioning it because I should already know, I'm thinking that Rome's front line may not have been in a checker formation, only the lines in back to reinforce it. Their front line was composed of a single phalanx wall just like everybody else's except behind them their uh, reserve troops could fill in that wall at any point in time at any for any reason but the more I keep on reading the, the, the I, I I always hear how even the front line is composed of hostile uh, princeps and um, velites or tri triaria and then later on in periods they switched up hostile and the order but what i'm saying is is did they fight like a wall because i don't see how somebody how this formation is uh even possible to win with when you have gaps here and the standard for any army to win in a battle is first try to surround them and then butcher them where they can't run away but also it is considered if we put aside Kanea here and Hannibal's victory to pierce through the center split the army in two so that the commander can't command one has to command two different armies and he can't uh, and create a bunch of confusion and then uh, break through that pierce and split them all up and why I say Hannibal Hannibal actually let the Romans pierce into him and then he circled around them he had a very hollow point there not hollow but enough for them to retreat and then surround them but that was a something that uh you shouldn't try to do by the books if you have your center pierced that is a bad thing uh however hannibal made it work for him but that guy was a genius of his time so if anybody could mention to me what rome exactly did when the enemy would charge forward into an interval now maybe because they had a phalanx and they didn't want the phalanx to uh go beyond the standard uh front line and not bend at all uh maybe they just sat in front of this gap and didn't do anything but whenever a phalanx makes any progress in any point they still pursue it as far as they can even if the guys to the left and right can't keep up 
So if any of you could answer that for me, I'd appreciate it. See ya.